Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we will explore Intel in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, the 29th of July, 2024, and now we are here to offer you a more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to keep up with our latest analysis. You certainly do not want to overlook any important updates that could affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 29th of July, 2024, our system has ranked Intel as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 1.83. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. We will continue to monitor this evaluation to observe how it develops in the days ahead. The current three-month trend indicates a potential change of 8.58% over the next three months with a possible return ranging between 8.58% and 23.93%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it suggests a negative change of 9.53% over the next 12 months, with a potential return ranging from negative 15.54% to 40.32%. This translates to a price range of $26.04 to $43.26, after one year. Our latest daily update for Intel includes the headline, Intel stock downgraded to sell candidate. The Intel stock price decreased by 1.66% on the last trading day, which was Monday, the 29th of July, 2024, dropping from $31.35 to $30.83. During that trading session, the stock experienced fluctuations of 2.21%, reaching a low of $30.79 and a high of $31.47. The price has declined in six out of the last 10 days and is down by 10.53% during this period. Notably, the trading volume also decreased on that day, which is typically a positive sign as volume should ideally follow the stock price. On the last trading day, the volume fell by 6 million shares, leading to a total of 32 million shares traded, amounting to approximately $987.74 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $51.28, while the lowest was $29.73. Currently, the price is 39.87%, or $20.45, below the 52-week high and 55.51%, or $38.46, below the all-time high reached on January 24, 2020, when the price peaked at $69.29. Intel Corporation, trading under the symbol INTC, is set to release its second quarter earnings report this Thursday. Investors are particularly focused on updates regarding the company's outlook and its foundry business, especially considering the growing demand for artificial intelligence technologies. Despite a significant drop in market capitalization of over 35% year-to-date, Intel has made notable progress in its manufacturing capabilities, no meant achieving advancements on five nodes over the past four years to better compete with TSMC. However, the company continues to face challenges, particularly from competition with AMD. An analyst from Rosenblatt recently maintained a sell rating on Intel, setting a price target at $17, citing modest growth projections for the upcoming quarter. The overall investor sentiment remains negative, driven by declining earnings estimates and Intel's performance lagging behind its peers. Despite these hurdles, there is optimism regarding Intel's financial strength with revenue and earnings per share growth underscoring its potential for future success. The company has cut its dividend to reinvest in growth initiatives, suggesting a strategic shift 
aimed at long-term value enhancement for shareholders. As market dynamics evolve, Intel's ability to navigate these challenges and capitalize on new opportunities, particularly in artificial intelligence, will be crucial in shaping its recovery and reputation in the tech landscape. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, the 16th of July, 2024, it was reported that Wells Fargo assigned Intel Corporation a market perform rating with a hold recommendation. On Friday, the 5th of July, 2024, it was reported that New Street assigned Intel Corporation a negative rating with a downgrade recommendation. On Wednesday, the 5th of June, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup assigned Intel Corporation a neutral rating with a hold recommendation. On Thursday, the 16th of May, 2024, it was reported that William Blair assigned Intel Corporation a market perform rating with a hold recommendation. On Thursday, the 16th of May, 2024, it was reported that Wolf Research assigned Intel Corporation a cautious rating with an upgrade recommendation. Analysts have assigned Intel stock a general sell rating. They consider the price to earnings ratio a buy and the price to book ratio also a buy. However, for return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a strong sell rating. The following signals have been identified for Intel. Currently, there are few to no positive technical signals. The Intel stock presents sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a more negative outlook. During upward corrections, resistance is expected around the levels of $32 and $0.04 and $32. A breakout above either of these levels would generate buy signals. A sell signal emerged from a pivot top point on Thursday, July 18, 2024, and the stock has since decreased by 11.59%. Additional declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Moreover, a sell signal is also indicated from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. The trading volume decreased alongside the price on the last trading day, which mitigates overall risk, as volume typically aligns with price movements. On Tuesday, June 18, 2024, the stock experienced a golden star signal in the short-term chart. A golden star signal occurs when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and the price line converge in a particular and rare combination often leading to prolonged and significant gains for the stock in question. Here are some additional signals that may capture your interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots suggest a sell signal from eight days ago. Bollinger shows a buy signal from 12 days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal from eight days ago. The long-term moving average suggests a sell signal from five days ago. The relationship between the short and the long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 18 days ago. When we examine the 12-month chart, we observe the short moving average indicates a sell signal from five days ago. The long-term moving average suggests a buy signal from 84 days ago. The relationship between the short and the long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 92 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Intel finds support from accumulated volume at $30.51. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction can be anticipated when the support is tested. The stock typically experiences moderate daily movements, and with solid trading volume, the associated risk is deemed to be medium. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated between a high and low, moving 680 cents, or 2.21%. For the past week, the stock exhibited an average daily volatility of 2.42%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Intel, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. 
In other news, the next earnings report for the second quarter of 2024 is expected on the 1st of August, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at 10 cents. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $34.46. If you do not currently own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could serve as a point to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel faces its first support level at $30.51. If this support level holds, it may present a good entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources is to sell. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 28th of June, 2024, Yuri Frank D conducted an insider purchase of 2,421,699 shares of Phantom Stock units. On the same day, Smith Gregory D. conducted an insider purchase of 1,170,488 shares of Phantom stock units. On the 28th of June, 2024, Ishraq Omar conducted an insider purchase of 1,009,041 shares of Phantom stock units. On the 28th of June, 2024, Goldsmith Andrea Joe conducted an insider purchase of 96,868 shares of Phantom stock units. On the 30th of May, 2024, Zinsner David conducted an insider purchase of 37,003 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 3.161. Overall, Insiders purchased 441,639 shares and sold 409,801 shares in the last 100 trades. Our assessment of this stock is unfavorable and a stop loss has not been established. Is Intel stock a good buy? The Intel stock displays several negative signals. Despite a positive trend, we anticipate that Intel will perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. As a result, we maintain a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture, we have revised our analysis from a buy recommendation to a sell candidate since our last evaluation. After examining the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Tuesday, the 30th of July, we expect Intel to open at two hundredths of a dollar higher, starting trading at $31.03. We want to remind you that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss, and it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. Your investment choices should not solely rely on the information provided by stockinvest.us. By utilizing this information, you accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. Here is our current perspective on the stock. We invite you to share your views in the comments section. Do you agree or disagree? What is your target for this stock? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.